exclusive interview with Elder S.K. Ogidon. Elder S.K. Ogidon has set a goal to create income from 50 different products within the next two years. He is an alumnus of Lancaster University, England, and was a consultant at Coopers and Librand, now Prize Waterhouse Coopers, Lagos. Elder Ogidon is a member of the task force on ICANN Entrepreneurship Center established in 2021. ICANN Entrepreneurship Center provides members the chance to learn from experienced entrepreneurs who dedicate themselves to helping members in income creation and ensuring that ICANN is placed in the heart of entrepreneurial ecosystem. Elder Ogidon bared his mind on questions from Africa's TV. What can you say to the youth outside that who are wishing to have their own business or who wants to be an investor and they are unemployed and they don't know where to start from, from the start of You do not start with the money. You start from what asset you wish to build. And you then do everything possible. You can't have free work. You need a space for yourself to do this. You can think about money. The people who want money, who never, two or three months later, they don't have a bank. We have people who, who stole money. Arm robbers, uh, kidnappers, who stole money, took money by force of people. You expect them overnight to become rich. They may not get rich through that. Okay. So it is not a question of money, it is a question of the framework through which we do and then money becomes a, come in as a variable part of the deal. When you vibrate, you vibrate. It is not just money. It is vibration. What do you have? What do you want to create? Already cleared that no, it doesn't start with money. It starts with asset. Can you please elaborate a bit? You have to think within yourself. You have a capability. You have a capability. That's why I say it's not money. You, you cannot expect that there's somebody who didn't go to school, who has no skill, who has nothing, and they're not educated, and then jump out and say, once I have money, I'm going to do something. If that is the case, not a politician who are not educated, you would have been very rich. But you need to have a skill. You need to have an area of interest. You need to explore and stumble on something that you think can generate an income for yourself. And using that notion in mind, you then vibrate that you do everything for you to create and say that will make you tap an income from that source. Don't forget the system, the macro system, money is running everywhere. People work very hard to come back. Money is something that everybody measures at least 20, 40 times a day. And it runs from central bank to everyone. If you took the money from central bank to people, you should put it equally to everyone in an economy or in Nigeria. You will so far that those who created access will be the one that will track down this money into there because they have something to give out. In 1776, there's a man called Adam Smith who introduced demand and supply. You need to have something. And in, in your attitude of saying you are selling something to somebody, and then before you say, what is it that you want to sell? And to produce that thing, you need to build a structure down so that they can attach you to that structure. You can use that structure to generate that product which you want to serve others. There is what is called the invisible hand, which was the model of Adam Smith. He said he, he is happy to see people creating something that others will benefit from. It is not in the interest of the farmer to plant yam. But it is because he's planted yam, he has his excess yam after what he has, which he can sell in the market. So the farm now is his asset. And he now can sell excess of the yam, even though he didn't intend to please others. He is pleasing himself at the same time, pleasing someone else. 
who will be appreciated, appreciative to him when he buy yam from him. So he satisfied the needs of others who needed yam. So that is how life is. You need to have something that others want. And why you use those things by yourself, the excess can go into the market. And that is what you have to create money. Nigeria policy, mm -hmm. our policy, mm -hmm. our is affecting not your brother is discouraging entrepreneurs in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. What can you say to that sir? For instance, when there is no light, you have shop, you don't have power to operate. And laws in Nigeria actually against entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the Federal government and state government, even the local government, are expected to be operating a macro system of their space. Mm -hmm. That macro system, whenever they do it, they use econometric analysis in order to resolve the issues they want. For instance, they want to raise tax, or they want to raise or reduce interest rate. Everyone within the system knows that if you want to reduce in inflation, you produce more goods. Yeah. If you want to, just as you produce more goods, you need people. You need high employment in order for more goods to be produced. So, at the same time, government understand that they can do it. But because of lack of inclusiveness, if I abhor you, you say, if I abhor you, I cheap. You first of all resolve yours. The political leaders understand what they think. But they want to quench their own fire first before they lose all that. And by the time they finish that, time is gone. How can business survive? Because that's one of the things. What have to do with our artificial amenities? The advice is that the government, you leave government alone. Mm -hmm. Because they use macro economic system. The private person should look at micro issues. A micro issue is look at your own space and see what you can do in order to generate income within your state, despite the difficulties, despite the difficulties we have within our space, a few people can still survive. That is why that in any society you find that very few people survive because they do not understand this logic of creating assets before thinking of inheriting the kingdom of God. They think you can go to a religious institution and sit down there and pray over it. No, manifestation of miracle comes when you create assets. So before you create assets, you need to vibrate. You need to ensure that you do everything possible to create this thing. So all these camera things, they are part of the asset. You are not using it to take your own personal picture, but you are taking, using it to generate income of one sort or the other. Mr. Ogido Oates, a master's degree from University of Lancaster, MSc in finance to be precise, a fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria. Elder Ogidan is a member of Task Force on ICANN Entrepreneurship Center established in 2021. ICANN Entrepreneurship Center provides members the chance to learn from experienced entrepreneurs who dedicate themselves to helping members in income creation and most importantly ensuring that ICANN is placed in the art of entrepreneurial ecosystem. Elder Ogidon has made presentations in numerous ICANN conferences on entrepreneurship in 2022 and 2023 variously on skill development one in October 2021 in Lagos, in Abuja, August 2018, in Lagos again 2015, also in Lagos, August 2018, in Oweri, July 2018, in Portacot in 2016, and Ibadan 2015. And uh, SK Ogidon has written several books, including number one, Nigerian Entrepreneur on Fire, published in 2010. Number two, Issue of Past and Present, published in 2013. 
Number three, entrepreneur, entrepreneurialism, medicine for financial bleeding, published in 2016. Number four, fit entrepreneur and you fit Nigeria, published in 2017. The book, which happens to be, be one of the best selling books in the entrepreneurial market. Number five, create wealth or poverty stays. One of it is number six, which is in view, show me your assets, is still to be published. Elbow Gidon is the founder, so chairman of many hospitality organizations, which include number one, Parliament Hotel in Akure, Ishua, Hotels Limited in Ishua, Ondo State, Datanomic Hotels, Datanomic Guest Hotel in Ojota, Lagos, Datanomic Guest Hotel, Aladia Bostor, Onipan, Lagos, Number Four, Ube Hotel, Ube Akoko, Ikare, Ondo State. He is single handedly sponsored and established Ishua Microfinance Bank Limited in Ishua. Number six, the founder of Ofada Technical School, built for September, excuse me, for September 2023. Ogidon is also the founder of some manufacturing companies. Number one is Ogis Household Appliance Limited. Oh, manufacturer of August booking ports, and loose riveting pins and metal fabrication for industrial uses. He also produces aluminium ingots. Ogidon is, the, is also the founder of EA Table Water. He also produces bread, bags, liquid soap, detergents, perfumes and others. <laughs> and uh, with those principal interests include, surprisingly, plumbing, concrete laying, and general construction. International ICANN conferences he has attended. Number one, ICANN in US International Accountant Conference in Washington, D.C. in August. 2018. ICANN Canada International Accountant Conference, Canada in Winnipeg, July 2018. ICANN UK International Accountant Conference in London, March 2018. ICANN US International Accountant Conference, Atlanta, Georgia, August 2017. ICANN Canada International Accountant Conference, Calgary in 2016. ICANN US International Accountant Conference, <laughs> Las Vegas in 2016. ICANN US International Accountant Conference, Toronto in 2015. He has other projects, especially for his mother's land, Akoko projects. Number one, for his dependency of all structures for the takeoff of Nigerian Police Secondary School, Ishua. <laughs> it's also the financier of Nigeria Army Checkpoint, Checkpoint Building in Ishua. <laughs> it's the financier of perimeter fence for local authority primary school, Ishua. He, is a significant, he has significant donation to African Church Grammar School, Oka, his alma mater. <laughs> he also has significant donation to issue a community secondary school, a community secondary school refurbishment. <laughs> he also has significant donation to issue a high school building refurbishment. He is a promoter of issue a hotel. Is a promoter of Ishua Microfinance Bank. Is a promoter of Ube Hotel. He has significant contribution to CAC Church Ishua. He also has significant contribution to St. John Anglican Church Ishua. The provision of medical assistance to many prostate and amperesitis patients 
every year. The provision of scholarship to many students in higher learning. Provision of legal aid to many oppressed. There is a financier of issue a day between 2014 and 2018, single-handedly. And we have so many of them that he has done. He's married with one wife and children.